Hello friends, it's Ms. G. Um, so today is paper day. What we're going to do is do our topic sandwich, right? For Benjamin Franklin, then and now. Um, as we do that, Ms. G's gonna go through the charts like we've done before, and you will pick at home which topic you want to talk about, which information you want to give in your paragraph. Um, before we do, just G, Ms. G wants to let you know that this is gonna be a nice and quick lesson. Um, I want to do shout outs at the end so we can just go ahead and get started. Um, Ms. G's going to go right into our chart. And now what I'd like to do is go into um, what the chart says. So here we have the main topic, Benjamin Franklin's inventions help people today. Remember we got our, main, uh, our topic sentence and conclusion from the main topic. Now, this is in red. Why do you think that is? Right. This is the one Miss G is going to do. So, for all the other ones, I want you guys to pick something different. So, Miss G is going with bifocals. And how does it help us? It makes it easier to use or to see. So, long ago, Benjamin Franklin inv invented bifocals. And now, it makes us see easier. It's easier for us to use it. So that's basically what we're doing in these charts, friends. We're just looking at which one we want to talk about, which invention, and then talk about long ago. That's what Benjamin Franklin did, and now it's easier to see. And I'm just going to show you really quick, friends. Let me bring this down for now. Put this in the middle. So really quick. Long ago, Benjamin Franklin invented bifocals. So for what it, whichever invention you pick, you can use that kind of sentence. Long ago, that's what he did. Now, bifocals help us see near and far. Where did I get that from? Here. I remember that in our story, it helps us see near and far. It also makes it easier for us to see. So I could have said, now bifocals, bifocals <laughs> uh, makes it easier for us to see. So I could have used the words in our chart to make my sentence, but I wanted to do something a little different. I remembered different words in the story, so that's why I did this. So I'm just giving you examples in case you want to do something different, in case you want to use the exact words in here. It's completely up to you. So now we're going to move on. Long ago, Benjamin Franklin invented the long arm or invented the grabber. That was another thing. Uh, name for it. How does it help us? Now we can reach things, okay? And you can also think about for your picture, drawing something like this, right? So we're going to draw the invention that he made. So these are ideas you can use too. Long ago, Benjamin Franklin invented flippers. Now it can help us swim faster. And you can draw someone wearing the flippers like here. You can draw someone trying to swim with flippers on. It is up to you. Now, I mean, I'm sorry, long ago, Benjamin Franklin invented the odometer. Now we can see how far we went or now we can see how fast we go all different ways to put it, right? And then you can also do something like this. You can draw this, you could draw yourself in the car. If you want, you can draw this too. So it's up to you, but these are good ideas for your drawing. Long ago, Benjamin Franklin invented city services. Now we can get mail, or now we're taken care of when sick. Or now uh, we have our garbage thrown out, or now garbage is thrown out. Now fires are put out. So there's four different ones you can pick in here. Even though it's all in one sentence, you can make a whole sentence on your own. Now we get mail. Now fires are put out, okay? So Miss G has here the garbage truck. So if you choose, now garbage is thrown out you can draw something like this. Now we get mail. 
you can draw something like this or you can draw a post um, a post officer putting the mail in the mailbox I would love to see all the different things your imagination makes again same thing so now fires are put out and you can draw a fireman putting out a fire I think that would be really cool too so there's last time last year friends we did this and my friends drew some beautiful things let me tell you I was so surprised that they were able to draw Benjamin Franklin doing things what he invented so you guys can use all your imagination for this now we get taken care of one sick and you can draw the hospital you can draw a person in the hospital helping a nurse or a doctor it's up to you so again my topic sentence and yours as well will be Benjamin Franklin invented things we still use today. Now, again, if you want to choose Benjamin Franklin invented things that help us, you can write that too. Ms. G is just giving you an idea of what to use for the topic sentence. Same thing goes for the conclusion. Benjamin Franklin's invention still help us today. So even if you change up the topic sentence a little bit, you can change up the conclusion too a little bit. And then my information is, long ago, Benjamin Franklin invented bifocals. Now, bifocals help us see near and far. So, while I'm here already, let's count how many words are in the information. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six words. So, like we've done before, friends, Miss G's going to go over here. Hi. <laughs> And we're going to talk about our paper. So how many words was it? It was six, right? Long ago, uh, Benjamin, I think, look how long it is up here. Miss G wrote, so Miss G wrote the topic sentence already, and look how long his name is. So I know I'm going to need this whole line just for his name. Long ago, long ago, Benjamin Franklin, coming to the back, invented bifocals. And what do we have at the end? Period. Okay, so now Miss G's going to count, make sure she has six lines. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to make sure that I have it with the words long ago Benjamin Franklin invented bifocals great now I start writing long ol how do I start my sentence uppercase even though it's not in the beginning it's uppercase long ago Benjamin Franklin so even though Benjamin Franklin is in the middle of our sentence, is not at the beginning of the sentence. We uppercase it. Why is that? So while you're answering, Miss G is going to write his name, Benjamin Franklin. And I want you thinking at home, why is it that we uppercase his name? Ding, ding, ding. So all names are uppercase. I hope you remember that from school. So even if it's your own name, Heaven Lewis, the H in Heaven gets uppercase, the Lewis in uh, Heaven's name gets uppercase, even if it's in the middle of a sentence. Long ago, Benjamin Franklin invented, invented bifocals. Bifocals. So, Miss Jean knew how to write that. Of course, if I didn't, I would have um, tapped it out, figured out some sort of way. So, I have my long ago, now I have to think of my now. Hmm, okay, so I'm going to write now. Um, I'm not sure what I wrote in that sandwich, so Miss G's going to write it right now. She's going to figure something out. Now, um, we use bifocals. Two, uh, see, it's getting too long. That's what happens when you're trying to come up with a sentence. Now bifocals help us see near and far. I like that one better. She was going to come up with one, but I like that one better. 
Now, let's count it out. Now bifocals help us see near and far. Woo! Eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Period. Some of these lines might be too short. I'll figure it out along the way. Let me make sure that I have the right amount of lines. Now, bifocals help us see near and far. Beautiful. Now is n, n, ow, o, w. Now, bifocals, I have it right here, so I can just use that same spelling. Bifocals. Ooh, that got longer, so she's going to have to erase it, put a finger space, and make a line. Same thing here, erase, put a finger space, make a line. Again, finger space, make sure we have that line. Now, bifocals can help, right? Can help us see near and, ooh, no. Now bifocals help us see near and far. So just like it what might happen to you, friends, make sure that you're going through it over and over again. Now bifocals help us see near and. Now, how do you spell and? That was one of our tricky words, friends. How do we spell and? A and D and near and far. F ah, er, period at the end. Now bifocals help us see near and far. Good. Now what's the last thing I'm missing? I'm gonna make sure I have the right amount of sentences this time. So I have one. I have two here. I'm going to put two here. I have three. I'm missing what? One more sentence. Now bifocals help us see near and far. And you know what? If I forget, I can always go back to the slide. So you guys can always rewind if you forget. Benjamin Franklin's inventions still help us today. Benjamin Franklin's inventions still help us today. Let's count that out. Benjamin Franklin's inventions still help us today. Seven words. One, two, three, and I'm gonna put finger space starting now. Four, five, six, seven. And what comes at the end? A period. I think it's just easier if you put that period right when you wrote your line so you don't have to worry about it at the end. So what was it again? Benjamin Franklin's invention still help us today. Now I can already tell you that these lines are too small so I'm gonna have to do it again. There's no way Benjamin is fitting here or Franklin's filling in that little line. So it happens, friends. We have to do it again. Seven lines, this time bigger. And Ms. G's going to actually start from down here because I know there's not going to be enough space. Benjamin Franklin inventions still help us today. Period. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. I knew help is going to be smaller and I knew us was going to be smaller because I just wrote that. So here we go. Benjamin. Ben. Ja. Min. Franklin. Fur. Ank. Lynn. And I'm going to put an S because Benjamin Franklin's, okay? Later on we learn what that S means, but for now, just remember when you hear Franklin's, that means we're talking about what he has. Benjamin Franklin's inventions. I, n, v, inve, 
stretch it out, invent, invent, I'm closing my mouth for it, but not my lips, invent, shuns. Now that, I might not be able to do, kind of sounds like an SH. I could write that down, or I can always go back and look at the spelling on the chart. Inventions. Oh, see, I, that was a longer line too. Benjamin Franklin's inventions still st ill help. <sighs> Let's stretch that out. L. <sighs> so every time I do this, I want you guys yelling out the letter, right? So, hell, what letter makes that sound? L. Help. What letter makes that p? sound? P. Good. Benjamin Franklin's inventions still help us. I have it up here. Uh, s, uh, which is the letter U. S is the letter S. Benjamin Franklin's inventions still help us today. T today. Two. I know T-O makes a two sound, right? T-O-2. So two day. Duh. A. So what makes that A sound? It's a long A. Good. Today. So he may leave it like this because that's how it sounds. But Miss G knows because she had checked the chart earlier that it ends in a Y. Today. So now I'm going to reread because friends, when you write, you need to reread what you wrote again and again to make sure you didn't make any mistakes. That's how friends end up making a lot of mistakes. They don't read what they wrote. So remember when we were in class, friends, when you would come up to me and be like, here, Miss G, I'm done. I'm like, all right, read it to me. You need to be able to read what you wrote and it makes sense. And a lot of times, friends, right, when you did that, you're like, oh, I forgot a word. Oh, I forgot to put a period. Oh, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I didn't put enough space. It looks like one word. So make sure you're reading it back to yourself. Here we go. Benjamin Franklin invented things we still use today. Long ago, Benjamin Franklin invented bifocals. Now, bifocals help us see near and far. Benjamin Franklin's invention still help us today. So do I have my four sentences? Check. That means I have my topic sandwich. All of it, friends. So some of my friends are forgetting. Make sure you have all four sentences. That is essential. That is necessary. You need all four. You could put long ago Benjamin Franklin invented bifocals, but that doesn't tell me what's happening now. You didn't let me know we're talking about Benjamin Franklin. I'm not sure if you're talking about his inventions or just about glasses. I don't know what the point is if it's just one sentence. Okay, going back to our paper. Um, what's my next thing? I have my name and date, so I get that check. I have my four sentences, so I get those checks. What's the next thing you do? The fun part, right? It is drawing. So since I am went with bifocals, I'm gonna try to put, we're gonna try this, Miss G hasn't done this before. I'm going to try to put the picture in our chart on this paper. So I'm gonna go to bifocals. I'm gonna get closer, bum, 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 bum. Let's get closer, let's get closer. Yes. And I'm gonna to go to this side. I wanna try drawing that. Whoa, maybe a little too close. Let's zoom out just a little bit. Okay, I wanna try drawing that on here. So Miss G made it so that she could see it more easily. Okay, I'm going to do that so we can see a little bit better. All right, here we go. So there's glasses and I see a line on those glasses. I see like this kind of line happening. So Miss G's gonna do that on her paper. And I actually won't take up the whole box. I wanna take up just a part of it. So I'm gonna do the line for the glasses. Then 
you have the other part of the glasses and it comes down right and then you have your like little hinge thing now I don't like the way the shape turned out so I'm gonna do it again and friends this is what you could do at home you could just figure out how to draw the shape that's a little too curved too you know what I'm gonna draw the inside first let me get that shape going and then I'll draw the outside Uh, I want to draw bigger than that because Miss G wants to draw what is looking at in the glasses. You know what? I'm going to draw really big actually so you can see clearly what's happening inside the glasses. And I went really big. Okay? Then we have our lines coming out from the glass glasses. And we have the line coming out here. Uh, it's very hard for Miss G to draw a straight line. And at home, I know it might be difficult for you too. That's why we just learn to try our best. Okay? And then it has that little hinge thing right here. So Miss G's going to try to do that. It's like a little block, a little square. It looks like another little square. All right. Bam. I have my glasses. Okay, so now I want to draw the book. And again, I'm just looking, when I look at pictures, I try to see the lines in them so I can follow. So I'm going to draw this, right? And that's the book part. And then here it is at the bottom going through and then coming out this side and then coming down. So that's the book. Now. The only way I can show that in this part, you can read what it says, that's the point of the bifocals, what I'm going to have to do is draw some words. So Miss G's gonna do that. She's gonna draw, hey, there. Okay? And then outside of the book, I'm going to draw squiggly lines. I'm going to say that's how you make it blurry. You can't read what it says, but then once it gets here, hey there, and you can't read the rest because it's all blurry. Okay? Bam. Now I'm going to just make this really fuzzy because it's all blurry on this side, right? All this is blurry. Now, there's an ocean there. So Miss G's going to try her best to draw the line that she's seeing here. Because all pictures and everything we see have this line to them. And it makes it easier when you draw when you see the line. So I'm going to draw this line. Right? I know it curved in right there. Then there's like mountains in the back. So I'm going to draw that too. Right? And it comes down, and it comes down here, and then there's more mountains in the back, like that. And now, this is super small, so I can't really draw, um, like, buildings here. I can try my best to draw buildings, but it might be just, like, little squares, lots of little squares that Ms. G can draw to show that it's buildings there. Lots of little squares, lots of little squares. G can't really draw that well, especially with a marker. It's harder with a marker, friends. <coughs> okay. Am I done? I think for the most part. <coughs> Excuse me. I can put a sun up here. You know I like my suns and some clouds. So, okay. I'm going to make this a little bit neater, too. There we go. Bam! Done. Am I done done? No. I still have to label. So I have sun, uh, mm, and bifocals. So at home, when you draw something, please make sure that you're labeling the invention. How am I supposed to know which invention you picked if you don't label it? So make sure when you draw friends that you label that invention. Bye, folks.
think that's how it's spelled. Miss G tried her best. And I need one more, so I'm going to go with book. Um, maybe here. All right, book. Bam! Do I have my three labels? Check. So I'm trying to get all these checks, friends. Now what I know I can do is color. I can use the colors in our drawing. I can make whatever colors I want. But Miss G is going to do her colors here. She's going to do some brown for the glasses. This time Miss G tried to not do it so quickly so you guys can see how things turn out if you don't rush. Because Miss G can tell when you're rushing things. So those are the glasses, they're brown. Then let's go with the blue water, right? So Miss G's gonna draw all the water blue right here. Now if you don't have coloring, pencils, crayons, it is completely okay. Miss G knows these are different times and that you guys need um Miss G understands. That's just basically what she is saying. Okay, here I am. I'm drawing all the blue water. Um, I think some of it came out here too, right? So we're watching the blue water. What else? Uh, green mountains, right? The mountains in the back are pretty green. So Miss G's gonna do her mountains green. This is what I expect, especially if you have. Um, coloring and if you have different colors I really want you guys to try your best to make sure you're putting in all the details as possible okay and I'll do some, some green in the back here too and then what else can we color friends let's see I'm gonna make the Sun orange because that's the color I have and it's okay Miss G tells me it's okay that if it's not perfect not exactly the same it's okay I'm gonna do some blue sky oh this is the darkest blue I was hoping it's a lighter blue but you know what can you do so I'm just gonna put a little bit so you can see the difference okay so that was Miss G's best at making a um, paper okay let's end it here today Remember, today is your paper, so I need to see those four sentences, okay? Four sentences are check, drawing check, make sure you have three different labels, okay? Make sure you have your date and your name. Miss G checks all these things, and I really want you friends to have four sentences. Four. How many? Four. How many? Four. Four sentences, okay? Great job, friends. We're going to leave it at that today because, again, this, this one was kind of long. Um, love you guys. Miss you guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye.